Hello students, this is Latif sir. Today I will discuss about elements, compounds and mixture of ICC class 6 chemistry. So, first uh, I will discuss about matter. I have already, I think I have already uh, told in one video about matter. Matter, what is matter? Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass is termed matter. Matter is anything that has, uh, that occupies space and has mass is termed as matter for example pen pencil books air table chair all are matter that has mass and occupies a space and the space occupied by matter or uh, the space occupied by a matter is called its volume and thus amount of matter amount of matter contained uh, in 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 anything by anything okay is uh, is called its mass okay the space occupied by a thing is called its volume and the amount of matter contained in it is uh, is called its mass now composition of matter what is the composition of matter matter is composed of small particles which uh, which are called molecules and atoms so matter is made up of atoms and molecules and what is atoms atoms are the smallest particle of matter which may or may not have independent existence atoms are the smallest particles of uh, of matter which may or may not have independent existence while molecules are made up of atoms molecules are made up made up of atoms of same kind or different kind molecules are capable of independent existence so the basic difference of molecules and atoms uh, Atoms may or may not have independent existence while molecules are capable of independent existence. Okay. Now, next point. We cannot see what is atom. We know that atoms are uh, teeny particles. We cannot see the atoms or molecules with, uh, with our naked eyes. Yeah. They are extremely, extremely small in size. Yeah. We are surrounded by millions of different things. They are. They all are made up of made up of atoms. Anything around us, all are made up of atoms and molecules. And atoms are molecules, uh, very teeny particles. We cannot. Uh, we can. Uh, we can. Uh, we cannot uh, see them with our naked eyes. Okay. There are uh, about 118 different types of atoms known uh, so far. Out of which 92 are found in nature, and the rest of uh, rest have been created in the laboratory. So 92 uh, matters or elements are uh, naturally occurring, occurring elements. Now classification of matter. On the basis of composition of matter, matter can be broadly classified in two groups. One is pure substance, another is mixed substances. Pure substances can be further classified as elements and compounds and mixed substances or mixture can be further classified as homogeneous and heterogeneous substance. So mixture can be further classified as homogeneous and heterogeneous substance. So here let's see matter, pure substance and mixture. Pure substance can be classified into elements and compounds and mixture or matter, mixed substance can be classified as homogeneous and heterogeneous substance. Now first pure substance. A pure substance has a definite molecular composition. You have to remember a pure substance has a definite molecular composition, fixed properties. This is the definition of pure substance. Definite molecular composition and fixed properties. They are made up of same type of molecules or atoms pure substances are, are made up of same types of molecules and atoms you have to remember so this is a definition of pure substance example of pure substance gold silver table salt water sugar these are pure substance now characteristic of pure substance Pure substance characteristics of a pure substance. First, definite composition. I have told pure substance have definite composition. Pure substance have definite composition. 
for example gold is made up of all gold atoms silver is made up of of uh, only uh, silver atoms um, silver is made up of only with uh, by silver atoms okay like gold made up of gold atoms only okay molecule of water is made up of two atoms of hydrogen and one atoms of oxygen this is a composition of uh, and this composition is fixed for water for water the composition is two atoms of hydrogen and one atoms uh, atom of oxygen and this is fixed composition for water okay so first point is definite composition and second point is definite properties pure uh, pure substances have definite properties a pure substance has specific physical properties which properties melting point boiling point smell taste these physical properties pure substances have these physical properties a fixed or specific physical properties which properties melting point boiling point smell taste etc these properties are fixed for pure substances for example pure water pure water from any source from pure water from any source will always boil at 100 degrees celsius under normal condition okay now physically in indivisible into simpler substance a pure substance cannot be broken into simpler substance by any physical means alone Physic, uh, ph physically indivisible indivisible into simpler substance okay but you ha here you have to remember one point that uh, by chemically you can uh, divide a molecule or pure substance okay but uh, by uh, physically you can't divide any pure substance into simpler form or simpler substance now second mixed substances um, let's see what is mixed substance a mixed substance or a mixture is made up of two or more pure substance a mixed substance or mixture is made up of two or more pure substance with no fixed composition or uh, no fixed composition and properties just opposite of pure substance mixed substance or mixture is a made up is made up of two or more pure substances with no fixed composition and properties it is made up of different type of molecules and atoms just opposite of pure substance okay the substances uh, or components of uh, of that make up a mixture retain their individual properties in the mixture the substances or components that make up a mixture retain their individual properties in uh, in the mixture. example a combination of table salt and water form a mixture Simul similarly dough is a mixture dough dough is a mixture so example a mixture is uh, table salt and water mixture of table salt and water Mi uh, dough is a mixture okay so you have to remember the definition of mixed substance now element what is element element is a pure elements are pure substance that are made up of same type of atoms there are so far 118 known elements in the nature i have already told elements are pure substance example of elements hydrogen nitrogen oxygen carbon sodium magnesium sulfur potassium calcium iron gold silver mercury all these are elements there are 118 elements among uh, among which 92 are naturally found others are man-made in laboratory so some point about elements different element different elements are made up of different types of atoms i have already told different uh, elements are made up of different types of atoms and atoms of certain element join to form molecule of the of that element for example two oxygen atom join to form oxygen molecule molecule of same element have have a molecule of some element have a single atom that is some uh, some molecule uh, exist in as single atom for example helium neon this this molecule exist as single atom helium neon argon krypton this molecule exist as single atom 
okay and next point about elements hydrogen and helium hydrogen and helium are the most abundant element found uh, in the entire universe which elements hydrogen and helium are the most abundant found elements in the entire universe next point oxygen silicon aluminium and iron oxygen silicon aluminium and iron are the most abundant elements found in the earth crust so which element found in the earth crust most abundantly oxygen silicon aluminium and iron next point almost three-fourth of air on the earth is nitrogen so three maximum uh, gas is uh, which gas present maximum nitrogen gas three-fourth of air next point plant bodies are made up of mostly carbon hydrogen calcium iron and oxygen plant bodies are made up of mostly carbon hydrogen calcium iron and oxygen okay now classification of elements elements can be classified meta as metals non metals metalloid and inert gas you can see here elements can be classified as metals non metals metalloid and inert gas so first metals most known elements are metals for example gold silver iron aluminium copper these are metals most elements are metals known elements are metals so properties of metals you have uh, i think you have a, a idea about metals metals are very usually very hard solid at room temperature although there are some exception yeah, I mean, you have to remember the exception also okay metals generally uh, hard solid at room temperature but exception as like sodium is a metal but is a uh, it is a soft metal and can be cut with a knife sodium is a soft metal can be cut with a knife similarly mercury is a metal but it is liquid at room, room temperature metal are generally solid hard solid but mercury is an exceptional case mercury is metal but uh, exists as a liquid at room temperature similarly uh, sodium is a metal but exists as soft okay second point metal have high melting point and boiling point metals have all metals have generally high melting point and boiling point and the most the metal tungsten which metal has highest melting point tungsten the melting point is 3422 degrees celsius 3422 degrees celsius is the melting point of tungsten highest melting point of all metals among all metals whereas mercury is the metal which has lowest melting point which is minus 39 degree mercury is the metal which has lowest melting point minus 39 degree celsius next point about metal metals usually lustrous that is they they have, they have shiny sur uh, shining surface metals have shining surface that is they are usually lustrous next point metals are usually ductile that is they can be stretched to make thin wire so metals are usually ductile that is they can be stretched to make thin wires next point metals are malleable metals are malleable that is they can be beaten into thin sheet metals are uh, malleable that is they can be beaten into thin sheet and next point metals are sonorous that is they can produce a deep ringing sound when struck so metals are sonorous because they can produce sound huh. and the last point metals are metals are good conductor of metals are generally good conductor of electricity metals are generally good conductor of electricity there are exception tungsten is a metal but is a poor conductor of electricity so metals are good conductor of electricity and heat the exception is tungsten now non metals non metals which are non metals nitrogen carbon hydrogen oxygen bromine uh, these are non metals and non properties of non metals they may be solid liquid or gas at room temperature we know that nitrogen hydrogen oxygen these are gas at room temperature these are non metal uh, carbon and sulfur and there are some ex uh, 
they can exist solid in solid form, liquid form, and gaseous form. Some uh, in exist, some non metals exist in gaseous form, some non metal in solid form, some uh, non metals in liquid form also. For example, carbon and sulfur are non metals but exist in solid form. Carbon and sulfur are solid. Oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen, these are non metal. These exist as uh, in gaseous form at, at room temperature. Bromine is also non metal but it, uh, it exists as liquid state. Uh, in liquid state. Bromine is the only non-metal which is liquid at room temperature. Carbon exists in different forms of solid. They, uh, the soft shoot or diamond, uh, diamond, both are form of carbon. Okay, carbon have different forms in solid form. In solid form, both shoot and diamond are form of carbon. Uh, while suit are soft and diamond are hard, diamonds are hard diamond is the hardest known solid found in the nature next point non metals they have low melting and boiling points while metals have high melting and boiling point non metals have low melting and boiling point exception are there diamond is a non metal graphite is a non metal but they have high boiling point and melting point non metal they are usually non lustrous while metals are lustrous that is non metals are non lustrous that that means non metals don't have any shining surface exception is their graphite and iodine are non metal but lustrous non metal you have to remember name of two lustrous non metal is graphite and iodine next point about uh, non metals non metals they are non ductile and non malleable if you uh, heat a non metals it will break uh, if you heat a solid non metal it will break yeah. but you can't make a thin sheet of non metal so non metals are non ductile and non malleable non metals that exist as solid are brittle and non metals are non sonorous that is non metals can produce sound any notable sound and the last point non metals are bad conductor of heat and electricity while meta metals are good conductor of heat and electricity some uh, exception uh, graphite is a non metal but good conductor of electricity generally non metals are bad conductor of electricity but graphite is a met non metal but it is a good conductor of electricity now third metalloids metal non metal and metalloids metalloids are the elements which have properties in between metals and non metals metalloids are the elements which have properties in between metals and non metals exception uh, example of uh, metalloids boron silicon arsenic antimony etc are metalloids and the last inert gases elements that are gaseous in state and that neither react to nor undergo chemical change that neither react here it is written react okay or nor undergo chemical change easily are called inert gases or noble gases Ex uh, example it is ex uh, wrongly written uh, written as exception it is uh, actually it is ex uh, example of non uh, inert gases Helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon are example of inert gases. Okay. So last point is except not exception. It is example of inert gases. Ex inert gases are element that uh, that are gases uh, gaseous state. In events that are gas uh, that are gaseous in a state and that neither react nor undergo chemical change easily are called inert gases or noble gases example helium neon argon krypton and xenon and radon 